What is going on, YouTube? It's a Latino with a beard and an opinion. Coming at you. First video I'm ever doing here. Normally, I try to stay out of things, but you know what? This has gotten to a point that is way beyond ridiculous. It's actually more like a circus, like watching a bunch of monkeys in clown suits in a circus running three rings. What am I talking about? That's very simple. It's the assault that the left has on the Second Amendment. That's right. I'm here to defend the Second Amendment as a Latino. What they're trying to do, what the left is actually trying to do is take away the rights from all citizens to be able to defend themselves properly and to put their defense, their safety in the hands of somebody else. What's wrong with that? I'll tell you what. Let's say you're, you're at home, 2 o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden... You hear somebody trying to break into your door, break in through your window. It doesn't matter. Somebody's just trying to break into your house. Let's say you don't have a firearm in your possession. You called 911. By the time police arrive, I can guarantee you what they're going to arrive to is going to be a scene where they're going to remove your body from there. On the other hand, you have a firearm. Now you can protect yourself from that individual, those individuals that are trying to break into your home. You have the rights now to defend your family. What you do is grab your firearm, call 911. Best thing to do is keep the operator on the phone. If the intruders continue after you alert them that you've notified the authorities, and if they continue to break in, then you have all rights to defend yourself. But now you have the recording from 911 telling them, hey, this person did the right thing, but they still insist and they had to defend themselves. Here, and I've been watching this for, oh, for I don't know how long has this been going on. But within, I'd say, the past two weeks, I've been watching this assault go on and on and on. I mean, it's gotten so bad that Colt decided that they were going to go ahead and pull out from making AR-15s for civilian use. And they're using, they're going under the guise that it, the industry is flooded with AR-15s and that they're going to focus on military. Well, I can guarantee you, they did it to satisfy the left. The problem I have with their statement is that they just uh, pretty much, they just went ahead and they just gave the left like this whole platform. You see, well, they're making AR-15s and they're going to go for the military. Big mistake on behalf of Colt. And you know what, Colt? I'm very disappointed in you. People say, well, you don't need a gun. Second Amendment was for this. But you know what, folks? Uh, best way I could put this. The Second Amendment protects all the other amendments, all your other rights. And if you allow the left to actually assault the Second Amendment, the way they are, and violating and trying to violate it, there's no stopping them if they actually get their way. They'll go after your First Amendment. And a lot of people seem to rem to forget that mm, not that long ago, Tipper Gore was actually going after your First Amendment rights. <laughs> yeah. When they lost that battle, well, let's see. Let's see what we can focus on. Hmm, something scary. Ooh, guns. Hmm, okay, we'll go after that. And people are buying into the, what they're talking about. And the funny thing is that nobody bothers to even fact check the liberals. They're talking about AR, assault rifle. No, AR is not assault rifle. AR is Armalite Rifle Company. 15 is the model, the platform. 
You know what? You can go to a store, get a gun, get an AR. Go to a range. And what I want you to do is I want you to grab that gun, whether it's a Glock, Sig, doesn't matter. Pull the trigger once and hold it down. See what comes out of it. I can guarantee you, I can tell you what's going to come out. One shot, one round is going to come out. And that's it. Now you take that AR-15, do the same exact thing. I can guarantee you one other thing. Only one round is going to come out. Military weapon. You press down on that trigger, it's going to empty out that magazine when it's set to full automatic. But I can also guarantee you that your accuracy is going to suffer big time. And you know what? Here's the other thing. And people are not realizing this. Okay, bang guns. Ooh, okay, great. You just banned guns. What's going to stop the criminal from going into the black market to get a gun? The criminal isn't going into a gun store going, hmm, I'm going to go here today to buy a gun so I could go commit a robbery. No, they don't do that. You know what they're actually doing? They're going into the black market. All right? You go to the black market, and one of the favorite weapons in the black market is the 1911. And these 1911s are actually being created illegally in the Philippines. And if you get two, three, four, five of them, look at the serial number. The serial number will always be the same number. Mm -hmm. Other thing. You can get full automatics in the black market. Why is it that the liberals are so busy going after the law-abiding citizen, but they're not trying to do anything about the black market? Think about that part. People. We need to wake up. We need to protect the Second Amendment because without that Second Amendment, all the other amendments are in danger. Because what's going to happen is they're going to go after your Second Amendment, your First Amendment. They're going to go after all of your rights. We cannot be a society that we are told what to think. That we are told what to do. We have to be a society of independent thinkers. And that's what the left doesn't want. The left doesn't want you to independently think. The left tells you, this is what you're supposed to feel. This is what you're supposed to think. You want to go historical on it? Okay, we'll go historical. Austria, they went ahead and they put a gun ban. Mm -hmm. They went ahead, oh, we got to do a national registry and all this other nonsense. All of a sudden, guns were banned. What happened? It was, supposed to, it was supposedly for the safety and the good of the people. Shortly afterwards, the Nazis took over. Nazis is another word and another term that really gets me. Anytime anybody, I, I, you know, I go against people that, you know, they say, oh, the second, you don't have the, you don't need guns. You don't need that. And when I disagree with them, they tend to say, oh, you're a Nazi. You're a Nazi. You're a Nazi. But nobody's actually stopped to think that what the left is doing is actually exactly the same thing that the Nazis did. First, they go on with false propaganda. They try to shut down your First Amendment. They don't let you speak up. Pretty much the Nazi brown shirt. Now they want to control who has a gun, who doesn't have a gun. Again, Nazi control. And, and people say, oh, well, we're not trying to do that. Actually, you are. The left is trying to do that. And proof of that is Booker. The other day, he went ahead and he introduced a bill for a national federal license and the bill is so ridiculous that i mean even if you had a moving violation you ran a red light you're disqualified somebody called the police because of a noise complaint you don't qualify for the license you were wrongly accused 
of something violent, you no longer qualify. It's just, and it's frustrating, very frustrating for me, but it is just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous bill. And if you tear it apart and look at it, it's just a bill designed to actually suppress people from getting a firearm. Because let's say miraculously, miraculously, you're able to obtain this license. Well, at that point, guess what? Now you have to tell them, oh, well, here's the gun that I'm trying to buy. Here's a serial number, blah, blah, blah. And it has to fit within the criteria for that license. And you're only allowed one firearm per that license. You have to register it with them. They have to know where it's at. You know, it's just ridiculous. It's just a way of saying we want to know where that firearm is at all times. We want to have the ability to go in and say, nope. And the fun part is that the final say, even if you have that license, the final say is actually going to fall on the attorney general, whether you're able to get that firearm or not. It's ridiculous. It's just straight ridiculous. I have problems with it. And it's just a violation, a complete violation of the Second Amendment. That's what we're looking at now, folks. We're looking at situations where this, the left is just trying to control everything. The question you should be asking yourself is, why are they so interested in banning firearms? What is it that, what is in their agenda that they're going... Well, we need to get make sure that the population doesn't have a way to fight back. Look at Venezuela. Look at Cuba. People don't have a way to fight back. Look at China, Hong Kong right now. The people don't have a way to fight back, but, you know, they're crying for their freedom. Is that what you want to come down to? You want to come down to a situation where... You go, oh, yeah, look at that. Look what we did. Yeah, we made everybody safe. When in reality, you didn't. Because you took those guns away, those firearms away from the law-abiding citizen, but you didn't remove it from the criminal. Because where the criminal goes to get their firearms, you know what happens? There's no background check. You know what there is? Green. If you have the money, that's all they care about. They don't care about anything else. I mean, people just don't seem to remember a lot of things. They just kind of decide, I'm going to forget. Or, you know what, and in the way I see it, I mean, we live in an age where you can just, you have the information available to you at your fingertip. It's in your pocket all the time. It's called a cell phone. It's called internet. Do some research. You seriously, just do some research. The media is not telling you the truth. I can tell you that for a fact. I mean, I was watching a video on YouTube not too long ago where the host of the channel had made a... He was poking fun at the media. And he made a comment about, you know, maybe we should ban the First Amendment. Oh, the media jumped on him right away. And said, look how he wants to, you know, and they were defending the First Amendment. But the fun part is that the media is also the same one that's busy trying to ban the Second Amendment. And they're not realizing that Second Amendment is defending my First Amendment. And what happens if, this, if the Second Amendment goes away? The First will go away eventually. Because now the left says, hey, look at that. We were able to ban the Second, you know, the Second Amendment. Because we told the people it was good for them. So now we're going to tell people that we're going to regulate, heavily regulate, and or ban the First Amendment because it's good for them. People, we need to stop creating a society of idiots. Mindless idiots that just sit there and listen to the media. And they're just being fed lies after lies after lies after lies. The problem with the left 
is that what they don't understand, they fear. Great example of that, and I am not lying. You can go to YouTube. You can look it up. When Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC, as she likes to call herself, or as I like to call her, AOC, America's only clown. She got that apartment in Washington, and what was in there? Something she had never seen before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's in the sink. Most of us know what it is. You know, something that you put like food in your sink and you press a magic button and it goes and garbage goes away. The food goes away. Okay. You know, the. And she didn't know what it was. She never encountered one. Why? Because she was in New York. But she grew up so sheltered and so oblivious to things she didn't know what it was and she sat there and she right away she ran it and she was like oh that's scary her words that is scary is it good for the environment this can't be good for the environment look up the video you'll see what i'm talking about what the left doesn't understand they fear and what they fear they want to ban Listen to what they say about semi-automatic rifles. They get ridiculous. They talk about, you know, these ridiculous numbers about how many rounds per second these ARs can shoot. An AR can shoot as fast as you can pull a trigger, just like a handgun. You go grab that handgun, and if you can pull and empty out that magazine... Whether it's a 15-round magazine, 10-round magazine, it doesn't matter. If you can pull that trigger 10 times in, let's say, let's just go hypothetical, 10 seconds. You shot 10 rounds per ten, in 10 seconds. And you could get the same exact effect from an AR. 10 rounds in that 10 seconds because that's how fast you can pull that trigger. You know, but if you could pull that trigger 10 seconds, well, respect to you, man. And be accurate about it. But they don't understand firearms and they want to pass these lies. And people are believing these lies. Instead of saying, hey, you know what? Let me do a little bit of research. Let me watch some videos. No, they don't do that. They just, oh. They said, this is bad. We, we can't live like this anymore, people. We need to start thinking independently. We need to be standing up for ourselves. We need to tell, you know, the left, hey, we don't need you to think for us. We don't need you to tell us how we're supposed to feel. We need to fight back, folks. We need to protect that Second Amendment. And we need to protect our freedom because quite honestly, our freedom is being attacked by the left. It's just under a guise right now of protecting the citizens, which they're not. What gives them the right to have that protection of a firearm with their armed security? What makes them so much better over us? If they have the right to be secured by a firearm, well, so do we. We have that same right. They're not above us. They are public servants. They're to do what we tell them. They are there because we put them there. But once they're there, they want to act like they're above you. And they're not. And these career politicians, Pelosi, Schumer, that whole crew, Sanders, including Sanders, and Biden, they're all hypocrites. 
severe hypocrites. Don't buy into their lines. People, stay safe. Educate yourself on firearms. I urge you to take classes, self-defense classes with a firearm. Go to a shooting range. You'll see they're not as scary as they try to portray. I'll be making another video some other time soon. But for now, what I want you to do is if this is my first video, and if this is your first time watching this, I want you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and hit that like button. I'm going to try to put up videos every once a week and see how that goes. And hopefully from there, we'll just keep growing this family. All right. Until then, peace out. Love you.